So here's a huge update, Flux Tools. What is Flux Tools, you might ask? Well, Black Forest Labs. In paint, out paint, control net, you name it. So in the first example here, we have changed only what you need. All samples were made with Flux Fill and Flux Fill is their in paint and out paint model. And it's not a third party model, it's actually from Black Forest Labs. We can see here they have painted on top of this guy here and changes a jacket into, well, another jacket, but a jeans jacket. And here they're changing burgers and beers into coffee and beers. And looking at this, I mean, you can barely see that it's in painted. Yes, there's a slight line up here, but it's actually not exactly following the mask because then it would bulge a little bit. Uh, so I say it's more following the line of the sea. Well, no, probably it's the background. It's the, it's the lines in the background that got me fooled. So I wouldn't say that I can see the mask at all uh, in this example. Maybe if I zoom in and change the levels a bit, but uh, let's not do that now. That's cheating. Well, is it? Anyway, so apart from the in-paint and out-paint model, we have control nets. So these are official control nets. We have depth. Depth is one of the most used control nets together with Canny. But first, let's look at some of the depth models. And we can see it's uh, actually a surprisingly good depth model. I I'm not sure about what kind of strength they were using to get from the preprocessor to, the, to the, the actual image here. Because as you can see, we lost kind of the glasses in this image. But you know, if it was like a strength, you know, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, whatever, details like that tend to disappear. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. Same with this one. All the details here that you can see, like M9, Leica, whatever, they're gone here. So that just means they would probably use or, or tune down the strength a little bit when they're generating this. Now, you're going to have to test yourself if you feel that these results are cherry picked or not. I mean, obviously they are cherry picked, but so far from Black Forest Labs, we have been getting some really, really good stuff. We mentioned Canny and Canny are these pre-processed image where you can see all the lines. So Canny is one of the most popular control nets. What, what's interesting with this one, uh, I, don't, I don't know if this is uh, prepared for the web, but I've never seen a Canny like this we actually see the background image or the actual image. So it feels like they just took the pre-processed image, slapped it on top of the previous, just to, to make it look a little bit better for the web. Because I mean, you're not keeping the color values here anyway. Well, I mean, you could if you're lower denoising strength. That's for another video. I'm gonna create videos specifically on the in-paint model. I'm gonna get create like one video for that. And probably one video video where we have the depth and the canny in uh, the same video. We'll see. You'll get I get that up in a couple of days or or later. We'll see. And then we have remake your work. So all samples here were made with something called Flux Redux. So they're changing from the image to the left here to the image on the right. So from a photorealistic style here to kind of a illustration style. So this seems uh, more like an IP adapter kind of thing if you're used to that. Here we're changing the frog to another frog but it looks similar and the same with the rooms here. They look similar-ish. So my best bet this is very similar to an IP adapter. So I'm going to check out what they're writing about this but uh, so far it's looking pretty good. So it says flux fill, state of the art in paint and out paint, redux, uh, generate vari variations of your images, mix in text prompts or more images to give them a fresh look or change them completely. Yeah, I mean, I would say IP adapter. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Depth and canny, we know what those are. Control net, we love control nets. Who doesn't love control nets? If you don't love control nets, well, you haven't been watching my videos for very long. Uh, this was released uh, yesterday and it says today, well, it's but released yesterday, but it was written yesterday. Anyway, today we're excited to release Flux from Tools, a suite of models designed to add control and stability to our base text to image model Flux 1. Oh, uh, and if you're wondering, can you get this locally? Yes, you can. It is available for open access with the Flux 1 dev model uh, and also through the API with the Flux 1 Pro model, right? So most of you watching are going to be using this with the Flux dev. And all the, some of these I've already seen are available like in FP8s. Uh, and I think there's even LoRa's for some of these as well. So most of you should be able to run it 
somehow if you are able to run any version of Flux. So again, Flux Fill, Depth Canny, Redux. This release reinforces our dual commitment, delivering cutting edge open weight models for the research community. Yes while offering best-in-class capabilities through our API. So yes, the Pro is only available through the API, but honestly, I mean, the dev is pretty good. I use the dev, uh, it's amazing. You should use the dev too. So let's see, we had some of the examples here. We saw this one. They say that uh, the inpainting capabilities that surpass existing tools like Ideogram and popular open source variants such as Alimama Creative's Flux Control and inpainting. It allows for seamless edits that integrate naturally with existing images. And looking at the results that we, well, we saw them previously, I would say so far, pretty good. Here's an example of the outpainting. So this is the image, and then we're outpainting, we're adding stuff on the outside. So now we have this picture of a face. And let's see, if we, can we find the line? Mm, I don't think so. Let's zoom in here. Uh, I think I'm just making that up. No, there's no line. So they conduct benchmarks. If you want to know more, there's a link here. These links are going to be in the description. You can also just Google Black Forest Labs Flux Tools. Oh, you don't, you're not seeing my, my fingers, but they're doing like this on a keyboard. The results show that Flux 1 fill outperforms all other competing methods. I mean, obviously, whenever you see something like this, they're just posting when there's on top, right? And I mean, I get it. Who You know, everyone's doing that. Uh, with that said, Flux is one of the best models out there. Flux Dev 1040, Flux Pro 1094. So, I mean, they're all similar-ish. Uh, the big outlier he here is SD 1.5 in painting, which is still very good in painting to this day. I kid you not, SD 1.5 in painting is super fast, like super, super, super fast. And it's surprisingly good. I mean, you can't fix like hands and feet and stuff like that. Um, but you can work with it professionally because it's very good. Obviously, there are caveats and those can be fixed by using Flux. Now, where you can get it? Full model weights available on Hugging Face. Uh, Comfy has support for this from day one, which is cool. So you can use it in Comfy. Can you use it in Automatic 11.11? No, you can't because someone stopped updating Automatic 11.11. I don't know what's going on. Are we going to see an update this year or the next year? Who knows? Most people that like Automatic 11.11 are probably using Forge now or have kind of transitioned into using Comfy and Automatic 11.11. I don't know. I'm using mostly uh, Forge and Comfy. I'm also going to take a, a deeper dive into Swarm because that's nice as well. To be able to, to get the files here, you need to log in, you need to agree and everything. And then you can download the files. So it's going to be uh, Flux Fill Dev, Safe Tensors, that's a huge one, 24 gigabytes. But I think some of the control models had LoRa's. Here's again, these are the control nets and they stay how they stack up to other stuff. Uh, we don't have, okay, here we have SD 1.5 control nets. Uh, I mean, 1.5 control nets are probably the best control nets out there surpassing even SDXL. So it would be very cool to see that Flux are, would be outperforming SD 1.5. Uh, but I'm going to take a deep dive into that in the coming days. So let's check here. Full weights, LoRa weights. So the full weights are going to be 24 gigabytes. And the LoRa is going to be 1.24 gigabytes. So that's a huge difference. So that's good to know. I mean, if you can handle the big one, go for the big one. And then the Redux, or what's probably the IP adapter, uh, and they actually say Redux is an adapter for all Flux1 base models for image variation generation. Given an input image, Flux1 Redux can reproduce the image with slight variation, allowing to refine a given image. And here we have an input and one, two, three outputs. They're all looking similarish. It's not the same image. It's not the same cup. It's not the same butter. It's not the same bread but it's similar. And that is very powerful for a lot of use cases. Here we can see some of the prompts used on um, this input, uh, input, 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 uh, fine glass sculpture on a shelf, a simple 3D model. I wouldn't say this is a 3D per se. I mean, you get some polygon trees here. This one, uh, anyway, actual duck on desk, epic anime art flying through clouds. So I would say it performs. And same with this one, we have an input 
photo, photo. We have flat vector, simple material art. What is material art? I have no idea. I know a vector is. A large hand puppet with brown fur in the forest. Pen and ink sketch, black and white. This is actually surprisingly hard to do with uh, some of the models out there right now. I mean, yes, obviously you can do it, but it could be harder than you think. Detailed anime artwork. And again, I mean, benchmark, it's going to be best here, obviously. Uh, oh, they have a Redux Schnell. I'm not using the Schnell too much, so can't comment on that. But they say they are outperforming SD 1.5 and SDXL. And cool here in this one, SD 1.5 is outperforming XL. And they just you know, third party support and extensions for 1.5 is so much better than Excel in my opinion. And the Redux is how big they are. Oh, that's not too bad. 129 megabytes. So you should definitely get that one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one where I show you how to use this.